Hey everyone, so in this video, today we are talking about that how to integrate the OpenAI API in React.js. We need to set up the backend of environment so that backend we will be communicate with the ChatGPT API, right? So here it is, we will create a simple server. Uh, that server will handle the request from the applications and uh, forward to them to the OpenAI API and uh, get response from the ChatGPT. For that, uh, we also need to install the library from OpenAI. So let me start. So I just created the folder called JS Play. So inside that, I can just initialize the node environment. Package name JS Play, version 1, description none, entry point index.js, just comma empty, empty, empty. So yes. So if we created that, there is a package.json will be created. So here it is, inside that I can just create the index.js. So after that, uh, so this is the package.json. So the next step, I can install the npm install open AI. Now open AI also installed. So the next part, I can install the three dependencies. One is express and body parser and cars. So three things I can install that. So npm install. And cars. So three things I can install that. Here it is. I can install the four application necessary dependencies. And uh, let's start the code part. And uh, coming to index.js. So the first step, I can install the necessary libraries. So these are the necessary libraries: cars, uh, express, and the body parser. These are the things. And uh, the main thing I can install the OpenAI for the OpenAI library. So in that there is two things. One is for configuration. Uh, that configuration will get the API key from our side and the OpenAI API will communicate that uh, chart GPT model obviously and type API key dot so for this API key uh, we need to uh, get the API key from the chat GPT we need that API key right so I can open the beta dot dot com so like for now they are they had to change that platform dot dot com so in that part there is a view api key is there so i am already created a couple of keys so i can again create the new key so i can just copy it and i click ok that after that i can just insert it so that's all uh, in that side so i can just put comma over there so after that uh, we need to initialize the open AI app so by this open AI class like class method and uh, after that we need to set up the server so yeah here it is so const app express i can initialize that and i use the body parser that json and the cars and uh, i need to create a endpoint for that actually so for the front end we'll communicate with that back end right so in that uh, so this is the api so this is the endpoint for the chat gpt so inside that uh, i can put that uh, so what are the requests we will get so that i can get and uh, after that uh, so I can use that await and uh, await async method obviously. So create completion. So instead of that the model is uh, C text C 003, max tokens, the remainder buffer size uh, 512 and the temperature that means the threshold value should be a zero and the prompt. So, so that should be a, what we ask the questions, right? So that question is a prompt. So once I initialize that method, so I can send the data to the completion. So after that, it will return the one value. So the next part, um, I need to initialize the port and uh, to set up the server configuration. So here it is. So now uh, we can able to get the data. So if I type that, uh, it will be asking, hello access. Yeah, now server is working. So the next part we need to create a react for that. Let me open the another terminal. The next we can create a react application uh, by typing this command npx create react app a space and react.js chat gpt. So I can just type it. So after that uh, the command uh, will create a project with the name react.js uh, hyphen gpt so the react.js hyphen gpt folder is created and uh, now app is creating now 
so it will take some couple of minutes so we need to wait for that react js chat gpt is uh, package is created that mean the react js application is created so next open the app.js file so in the under the src so there is a app.js will be there so in that part uh, so i can remove the existing things so let me uh, import that uh, necessary import libraries actually so import app.css and uh, axios and uh, use state so after that uh, i can create a function called app okay so inside that function i can just uh, initializing the states and uh, we need to handle the, i can just create a one text box along with uh, one submit button right so in that submit button i need to handle the that uh, submit button function right that called the handle submit function so this is the handle submit function inside that i can call that that node js uh, that means the node server backend of api and uh, we will send the response to that api after that uh, we will get the response and uh, placed over there actually so inside the page so after that let me created the written statements actually so now it's completed right now so after the written off inside that on sample text to field along with the submit button so here it is so i just created like that so inside that finally we need to export this app right so i can just export it so in this part uh, the important function is it handle submit so this code will trigger the submit button is clicked it can be see the form tag uh, you can see the form tag as handle submit actually and uh, the prompt will be forwarded to the endpoint and the address on the server right the http 8080 chat obviously that node server then if it is successful the data response will be written however if it is failed or the error occurs the error message will be displayed on the console so here it is uh, now let's run the our application with the command called that npm start so i can before that i can enter into the react chat gpt folder so after that npm start now it started so let me open that localhost 300 So if I executed that, uh, so it says just say ask or something. So I can just uh, say what is YouTube. So if I click that button, it will be go to the handle submit. So after that, it will be sent to the back end to the node, and it will return that actually. So the next thing I can implementing that some designs in that page actually. So let's come to the code. and uh, so inside that i can just stop the server so i can just install that npm install hyphen d tile build css npm x tile build as so after that there is a tile win config js will be there right so in that part i can just copy that so what are the files it's applicable so i can just put all the file actually src and all those things now let me run again node index.js the backend server it starts now npm start so if i run that now it started so now we can check that yeah so now the page is ready now so i can type tell me about react js hit the submit button yeah so here it is let me get some integrate react js with open ai chat gpt and node js so if i type that yeah so it will be queued that it will install the three package and create npx command so all those things it will be queued so this is our own chatbot right in that react cloud so hope you guys if you really like that video keep subscribe my channel and share it to your friends colleagues thanks for watching see you on the next video